welcome to the another presentation here we're going to learn how to select the most appropriate trigonometric formula depending on the situation depending on uh on to what we need to prove or where we have to proceed where we have to go all right uh here i have the quite similar two question uh the, the, here is the first question you're watching similarly here is the second question in the first question by solving the left hand side i need to prove uh cot theta similarly in second question by solving uh left hand side again i need to prove tan theta by two it looks quite similar the difference is only here the cosine is plus and here cosine is minus and here cosine is minus and cosine is here plus it's just like these things is here and the same thing is in here right and uh, this thing is here with the yellow color I'm marking which is here and next difference is here twice of theta here is theta so doesn't it matter all right B both are the exactly same question and these two questions are based on the trigonometry half angle formula of sine theta or you can say cosine theta what we have to do first I'm telling you here if you go to the formula of uh, trigonometric ratio of uh, multiple of certain angle like 2 theta 3 theta uh, then we have a lot of formula for the sine 2 theta as well as cosine of 2 theta similarly if you go to the half angle formula uh, formula for the sine theta cosine theta we have a lot of formula but which one will be most appropriate uh, to solve or to get the result final result all right we have to select properly that we're going to learn here that we're going to see here right so first I'm going to write let's say uh, cosine of 2 theta formula cosine of 2 theta formula we have a lot like 2 cos squared theta minus 1 another we have 1 minus 2 sine squared theta all right we have in tan format also but we don't need now uh, in the tan format similarly if you go to the sine formula all right sine 2 theta uh, we have 2 sine theta times cosine of theta I'm not going for the tangent format for a while all right so now see which formula uh, we have to use uh, we have here three formula so which formula we need to use here in this case and uh, later I will discuss about this all right so let me first write the left hand side of first question question number one left hand side our left hand side is one plus sine two theta it's sine two theta all right plus cosine of two theta divided by one plus sine two theta minus cosine of two theta okay so now look at here one plus sine theta can I use the formula for any 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 do I have any formula for this one plus sine two theta do I let's take a look all right uh, one plus sine theta there is one no there is no one at all so I can't use this similarly here uh, in this denominator also uh, I can't use the formula of one plus sine two theta but what about if I'll write one plus cosine of two theta uh, plus sine 2 theta similarly in denominator 1 minus cosine of 2 theta plus sine 2 theta now if I'm writing like this then see uh, what I can do in the place of 1 plus cos 2 theta can I get this thing from here 1 plus cos 2 theta exactly I can get this if I'm shifting this uh, if I'm shifting this minus 1 into this side then this minus will turn into the plus and I will get 1 plus cosine of 2 theta equals to 2 cos square or cosine square theta all right from here just this minus came into the left hand side similarly can I get a formula for the 1 plus cos 2 theta yes exactly I can get from here see it's 1 already all right 1 is plus again and it's minus 2 sine square theta all right so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna write this minus 2 sine square theta into the left hand side so it will be 2 sine square theta and I'm writing this one as well and what about this cosine of 2 theta cosine of 2 theta is here as a plus so when you go into the other side uh, I mean when it will come here it will be minus so it will be minus cosine of 2 theta so see exactly we get the formula that we need formula for the 1 plus cos 2 theta we get it as a 2 cos square theta and 1 minus cos 2 theta we get as a uh, as a 2 sine square theta so from here we can use the formula and proceed all right so let's write in the place of 1 plus cos 2 theta I'm writing 2 cos square theta 2 cos square theta 
and now what about the sine 2 theta what can we do for the sine 2 theta formula we have only one here uh, we have a lot of formula another formula also in the tangent form but we don't need it be, uh, because here uh, you know simply we will get this co uh, cotangent or tan of theta by 2 just by the ratio of uh, sine and cos all right so sine 2 theta it will be just I'm picking this all right 2 sine theta cosine theta and same thing I'm repeating in denominator all right and 2 sine square theta in the place of 1 plus cos 2 theta okay so it's uh, 2 sine square theta and plus the sine theta is again replaced by uh, 2 sine theta cos theta so now I can take the common here because I, I feel something common here you know see <clears throat> 2 cos theta is here also and 2 cos theta is here also similarly 2 sine theta is here also there are 2 but here we have 1 2 sine theta is here also so from the numerator I'm taking 2 cosine of theta common then there was cosine theta times cosine theta that's why it is cosine square theta so 1 cosine theta is left now and in internal part 2 already came outside cosine theta already came outside so sine theta is left so sine theta is here and let's go to the denominator now similarly here I'm taking 2 sine theta outside so it will be 2 sine theta and one sine will be left so it's sine theta and plus uh, sine and 2 already came outside so cosine of theta is left now take a look my dear friend seriously few things you can cancel 2 and 2 you can cancel cosine of theta plus sine theta you can cancel cosine theta plus sine theta uh, order does not matter 1 plus 2 or 2 plus 1 that same thing so you can cancel these two things and cosine theta over sine theta that's cot theta and that's our right hand side and proved see we proved it you know cot, cot, cot theta cot tangent of theta we proved it and exactly the same process we're gonna follow now <clears throat> and while while following this process uh, we have to keep one thing in mind <clears throat> here the formula is cosine of 2 theta but here we have sine theta or cot, uh, cos, cosine of theta so when it is 2 theta the result is getting theta so when the result is uh, I mean when, when again the uh, the angle is theta so result will get reduced by half you know so theta by 2 so it, 2 theta's half is theta similarly theta's half is theta by 2 exactly all right so let's solve the uh, left hand side of the second question exactly the same process we are going to follow 1 plus sine theta minus cosine of theta divided by 1 plus sine theta plus sine of theta so next step I will bring the cosine together because 1 plus sine theta we don't have a formula and here you know we're just imagining this as a theta so it's going to be theta by 2 theta by 2 this whole is theta so it's going to be theta by 2 and this is theta by 2 that's it and here also this is whole theta and this will be theta by 2 so this theta will be theta by 2 and this will be only theta 2 theta 2 theta turn into the theta and theta turn into the theta by 2 that's it all right <clears throat> so now a 1 minus cosine of theta plus sine theta divided by now 1 and this cosine theta 1 plus cosine theta plus sine theta now let's go further okay so what can we do now 1 minus cos theta that's 2 sine square theta by 2 all right so it's 2 sine square theta by 2 plus now sine theta in the place of sine theta what you can write 2 sine theta by 2 cos theta by 2 so it's 2 sine theta by 2 cos theta by 2 I just use the half angle formula for the sine all right and in the place of now 1 plus cos theta I can use 2 cos square theta by 2 2 cos square theta by 2 plus and for the sine theta I would use the same 2 sine theta by 2 cosine theta by 2 let's go further and let's take a few common here I can take this 2 common and sine theta common because here is also 2 sine theta alright so it's 2 sine theta over 2 common and it's square so 1 sine sine theta is left still and here I will be left with cosine of theta over 2 and now in denominator let's go and again we can see a cosine square of theta and cosine theta here so 1 cosine theta can be taken outside and this 2 is here 2 is here so 2 will come outside and here I'll be left with 
cosine theta over 2 and here it is sine theta over 2 so again we can cancel few things as I told you this thing and this thing this 2 and 2 and now sine theta over 2 and cosine theta over 2 that sine theta over cos theta is the ratio of tan so here angle is theta by 2 so it's tan theta by 2 and hey we got it that's our right hand side tan theta by 2 take a look once again yes all right so this is how we need to prove so you should learn the selection of the formula properly right if you have any more confusion any doubt to ask me then please feel free to comment below this video I'll definitely get back to you I'll feel really happy if you comment uh, and if you ask me your doubt all right so see you in the next lesson with new concept goodbye and don't forget to subscribe the channel bye bye